And as you guys can see, it is auto farming all of the hearts in the game really, really fast. And look at that, I'm opening so many eggs with this. This chi is so OP. In today's video, I'll show you guys the latest scrimmage wise for the new Pet Simulator X update. With these GYs, you can auto from the new coin really fast and get the new pets. And if you want to use the scripts, you need two things. First of all, you need to get the script itself, obviously, which I'll be showing you I can download and use later on in the video. And second of all, you need the Roblox executor that works after the new Bifron anti cheat update. And if you don't have one, guys, don't worry. I'll be showing you guys the best free Roblox exploit that has bypassed Bifron called Ferg Ultra. So make sure to watch the entire video. And also the best comment under this video will have a chance to win a thousand robux and if you want to have a chance to win you also need to like this video and subscribe to the channel with post faces turned on but yeah just get into it so the first step is to go into the first link in the description and i will be seeing this website as you guys can see and on the front page you can find buy from bypass ferg ultra number one free robux exploit no key system as well which is the exploit you need so just click on it right here and open up a new page and on this page you will find all the details including the download button right here as you guys can see now guys on top of the page it says in red it works only on roblox microsoft store version it will not work on the browser version of roblox but i'll get into this in step two so anyways just press download right here and open up a new page which will look like this and it will just load up and on this page you will find a few tests that you have to finish to download the exploit and they're really simple to finish guys but if you cannot finish them for some reason and you need any help you can ask help for more support in the discord server in the description so make sure to join it it will help you out and fix your issue again guys link in the description anyways i'll be back when i finish these two tasks once all of the tests are done you'll be seeing a green button that says done just click on it and you'll be seeing a page with a few more steps on it they're really simple to finish as well and once you proceed it will download the exploit for ultra as you guys can see and just put the zip file wherever you want i'll be putting it on my desktop just like this and i'll open the zip file using winzip or something like WinRAR or 7-Zip, it's up to you. And you'll be seeing the folder inside of it and put this folder onto your desktop as well and then open the folder. And on this folder, you'll be seeing a few files, but the one you need to open is called Ferg. Also, just open it and then you'll be seeing the UI show up as you guys can see right here. So once you have an exploit, you need one more thing and now I'll be going into step two. So step two is to open up Microsoft Store. Once you are on Microsoft Store, just look for Roblox up top on the search bar and you will find it as you guys can see. And I just download Roblox through the Microsoft Store. Now guys, you have to do this or else it will not work. And this is because the new anti-cheat has not released on the Microsoft Microsoft Store version yet, so you can still exploit on it using Ferg Ultra. Anyways, once you have it installed, just press play. Now a friend of mine, Rinks, will be showing you guys how to use the script, so enjoy. Okay then, once you're in the game, go ahead and boot up Ferg Ultra if you haven't. And you can inject Ferg by clicking the syringe icon right here. Just click on that, it will open up this website. Just go back to Roblox and you will see this message right here, successfully attached to Roblox. Press OK. If you're using Ferg Ultra, you can just type in the game hub, Pet Simulator X right here click right there and you will see this ui pop out right here if you're for some reason not using for culture you can find the script directly on our website in this ui you've got over like 20 plus scripts to work with you've got the main uis utility and side uis as well before this one i'm gonna be using milk up they have updated the script to work with this version so i'm just gonna click right there it will load up in a second there you go as you can see they overhauled the ui it's got different tabs right now We've got the event tab, coins, eggs, miscellaneous, machines, ad collection, notifications, automation, and also settings. First, I'll go to the mess tab right here and redeem free gifts. There you go. It will redeem everything you have unclaimed. You can also set ho your hoverboard and hoverboard speed. I'm going to max it out, set the hoverboard speed and select whichever hoverboard I want. Just going to pick right there and set hoverboard. And you can press the hoverboard button, which is Q to open it up there there you go down here you've got boosts you can use all personal boosts or select them here I'm just gonna select all of them press yes there you go you can also use server boosts there you go i haven't locked the new dog world update yet so just gonna go start farming right here in the settings you can choose your coin mode or coin type as well i'm gonna select fast and then in the coin tab i'll pick highest coin multiplier right there auto collect loot bags and orb you can make it so you can teleport to the area when you enable it I'm in the doodle world right now, so I'm gonna go pick this one right here and choose doodle farm, I guess. Or I'll just pick every one of them. There you go. Just pick everything so it'll farm all the areas. Just like that. And after that, you can go back up right here and start farming. There you go. As you can see, it will start farming the area. Just like that. While it's currently farming, I'm gonna go ahead and go here. And in the X tab, you can instant open eggs right here. You can select the hatching mode to single, triple, or octuple. Depends if you have the game pass or not. So yeah, there's that. You can disable egg animation. You can also disable the notification as well. And here you have the eggs you can choose from. You've got the normal eggs and the, and the golden eggs as well. I'm pretty sure I have enough to unlock the next area. So let me go and disable that. For now then go right here there you go by this area i don't know which area this is but 
Okay, it's apparently since we've unlocked this area, I'm gonna go change these settings to woodlands and start farming again. I'm gonna go ahead and try to open the eggs. I'm gonna start stop the farm right there. Check out what eggs are available. Okay, no, these this one are too expensive. Let's try the normal egg on this one. Mushroom doodle eggs. Go to the egg tab and normal eggs. You can also search it up. Just type in mushroom. There you go. You can see it right here. Click on that and start hatching. There you see the pet count start to increase as you open the eggs so you know you're getting the pets you want you can also open your inventory to see your pet count increasing i have it set to auto delete the basic pets so it's not gonna increase a lot but yeah that's about it for hatching eggs just ran out of coins just like that next up we're gonna go to the machine tab you can teleport to machine right here you can start converting to golden with this you have to be on the machine tab though so enable that and then teleport to machine there you go it will teleport you to the machine tab every time you see the spark it will it will mean that you successfully converted there you go you can see that right there completing achievements and i think that's the last of it there you go these are all my new golden pets just like that i'm gonna go ahead and might as well convert these ones as well there you go you can start converting to rainbow too and i think it's done already there you go now for the next part we've got the pet collection tab you can start collecting pets this is done by opening every egg available to collect pets for your index you can select which rare you want which type but yeah and here in the notification tab, you can send egg notification. This is for Discord webhooks, and you need to know how webhooks work for it to work. So, anyways, next in the automation tab, down here in the automation tutorial, you can. And here you've got the automation tutorial. It will basically auto hatch and auto farm every time you reach a certain amount. So first, you put all your settings in, such as the egg slash area and make sure you turn on start farm and hatch and then come back to this tab and enter an egg amount so you can start hatching when it reaches that, that egg amount and then finally turn automation on so let's say i want to egg so let's say i want to start hatching when i can buy 25 eggs type in 25 right there hatch when available eggs are above x number use machines when inventory full or finished hatching or use machines when usable you go back to the machines tab right here start converting to golden and start converting to rainbow enable that and teleport to machine as well and then go back to the coins tab select which mode you want select your area as well i'm gonna choose doodle peaks right here and then go back up in the x tab i'm gonna Type in mushroom doodle egg. There you go. Disable egg animation and notification. Start hatching. In the coins tab, go to the farming tab and start farming. And after that, go back to the automation tab and start automation and hatch when available eggs are above x number it will keep auto farming coins until you can afford 25 eggs basically that's how it works i'm gonna turn that down to maybe five so i can show you now i'm just gonna wait until i can afford five eggs here you go i've just finished farming and then we'll start opening the eggs by, by itself a couple more now one more i think there you go and it will keep auto farming again and again and open the eggs at the same time all while you're afk but yeah that's basically it and i'll see you all in the next one